Hello everyone, my name is Kenmei and today in Fire Emblem Heroes we are going to welcome new Thracia units. Um, it was quite a surprise, I think a lot of people were expecting at least a Valentian banner, but I'll be honest, I'm pretty happy that they are from Thracia. There are way more characters that need to be in the game and it always gave me more time to gather orbs for Tatiana. So, priority-wise, I think Sarah is going to be my main target. And Asbel and Ronan, I think in that order, are coming next. Miranda, of course, is going to be the 4-star focus, so if I get her, I'm happy. I would be happy to get her a 5-star, and I will tell you why later. So, without further ado, let's, let's start. Damn. Pew! Pew! Okay, so let's try red first already. So as I say, uh, the Thracia characters, uh, I'm quite happy to discover them. I, I knew a bit about Sarah because, I don't know, I, <laughs> I've been reading the wiki for Fire Emblem in a, you know, as a whole. And she was one of the Thracia characters that stood out for me. Uh, I don't remember any of the other one, to be honest, but it's not like I have played the game, so be nice with me. Um, oh, we can we can actually talk about that later. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so nothing in red. But yeah, uh, Thracia characters... Um, the forging bond seems to show, uh, you know, to well characterize them. Uh, <laughs> Thracia fans, please tell us how, you know, relevant uh, what is said in Forging Bond is to the characters because they seemed really nice. I really liked uh, Ronan. I think I only got, uh, you know, the the two first uh, conversation levels for each character. Maybe a third for, maybe a third for Lasbol, but that's out of, that's, out, that's not the question here. Um, but yeah, Ronan was is very sweet for the moment. I love Enria. She's a, she's a cinnamon roll. No wonder why Sharina is so is so nice. Okay, so nothing on the first circle. Oh, Sarah. I really I really want to see what Sarah's forging bond is going to look like at the end because I really like, you know, the fact that she reads uh, not reads the mind but the voices of people. This is um I don't know. I I I dig that shit. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, I was think, <laughs> and yeah, I was also thinking about that because Sharina uh, in uh, Sarah's in uh, Sarah's forging bond is a bit like, oh, my my inner voice is like a trumpet, trumpet, uh, energetic, right? <laughs> and a lot, of, well, some people on Reddit uh, highlighted that it. C I don't think it refers especially to the fact that she shouts Fire Emblem Heroes. But on the title screen, but that's funny anyway. So that was for Sarah and Ronan. As well, as well, it's nice to see you know these young characters uh, getting trained basically. And hmm, I guess one of the things that is said in his uh, forging, but I think this is a third tier of the conversation. Um, for Asbel, like. He must say something in the line, uh, along the line of, uh, yeah, but it's a bit frustrating to know that you won't be able to ha to get to your full potential until you're an adult, right? And there is some kind of truth in that. Uh, I can guess, I get why uh, when you're young you can be, you know, frustrated that uh, you'll basically have to wait for years before being able to reach your fullest potential but you also need to train to reach your full, fullest potential and it can take a lot of years okay so nothing yet uh we're not uh we're not especially uh try well i would like to get you know the five stars and nothing here <laughs> and i think the last um the last character i did not took forging bond wise is Miranda and actually I really want to see a full forging bond because 
I think I can relate you to the anger management. Uh, and I really would like to see what, you know, Hilus could uh, provide her. I guess she's going to encounter Brady. It would be... I guess, given what they are go what the... A lot of three star, yikes. Cecilia, hello. <laughs> go teach your students. Can you bring me Asbel, please? Oh, maybe you can. But yeah, uh, given, you know, the kind of comic... Uh, well, the kind of humorous tone Miranda's story seems to have, I fear I will not have any, you know, meaningful insight. But still, I still want to know what is going to happen. Forging Bond is really, I think, I think Forging Bond is one of the best uh, game, you know, sub game to, oh, hello Tanya. Are you neutral? I need a neutral one. Lag here, but no, you're not neutral. Okay, two tickets left. Um, What did I want to say? Don't remember, but yeah. Uh, oh, I remember. Uh, Forging Bonnet is really... I think this is one of the best sub-games because um, basically it enables the writer to go, you know, to go a bit deeper on characterization. And most of the time, not always, but most of the time, they do manage to, to make some really sweet stories or, really inter in, you know, interesting stories. So... Maybe if we, I, if I do not comment on that fact, maybe she will disappear. Maybe. <laughs> oh, shoo! She's plus seven now. She's plus seven. Why do you always pity break me? What am... No. Worst of all, what am I going to do when I plus ten her? Because this is not a question of if I plus ten her now. This is a question of when. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's horrible. I think I was below 4%, so... Oh, I was near 4%, so I guess I will... Mm, I guess I will go back to, to 3 anyway. But my gosh. Oh, and... What are you doing here? At least you know you're from the right, you know, uh, continent. But why? I think my lassie is plus res, so you will be fodder, sweetie. And my barracks should be full? Yup, so <laughs> I'll be right back. So back with the summon, um, let's go. With, uh, I'm sorry, I'm still a little bit baffled by the way uh, just happened. Of course we came back to 3%. Um, I guess one thing I wanted to talk about was Miranda and why I wouldn't mind getting a 5 star version of her. Hello, Forest. Simply put, um, I got um, I got a plus attack Winter Sar Winter Sarger. And um, I thought that uh, her tomb is nice, don't get me wrong. But uh, the, uh, the red serpent tomb could be really, I, I think she could work it well. And as soon as I thought that, the next day we get Miranda. D just to give you an idea of how ideas came, and Insis, Insis seems to, you know, hear me. Uh, I, I like to call these kind of things, you know, it's only on my side, nobody will ever know about that, but I just I just am very really cool. I, I find this really funny. Okay, so nothing here. Can we get at least one focus character before getting the 40 summons? Please? Maybe? I guess still talking about the characters, but technically the character we're going to get tomorrow uh, is Veld. So <laughs> apparently it wasn't really popular 
and they still got um, quite interesting tone and uh, really nice art. And the voice acting, my god, Edward Bosco is really killing it. Like, his voice acting is really on par, and when you listen to all the voices he voiced, he, the voices he voiced, yep, the character he voiced. Okay, Morgan, why do you make my game lag? Uh, it's really impressive, I think, and I really, go I, I really like his build impression. Um, but oh uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to add about Vel. I knew I wanted to add something. As a lot of people, I think. Oh, oh, we can talk about that just in a second. Uh, as a lot of people, uh, I think maybe Vel should have been being um, being um, being a red term wasn't isn't that bad. We have, you know, we have other characters that are linked to curses, but colorless tone would have been best. And why am I stopping here? Because, uh, I j you know, uh, I'm not really important on anything like that. I'm nothing really, but I just wanted to pay homage to one great voice actor. Well, I didn't, I, well, I didn't know about his work that much, but with what we got from from three well from three houses and from heroes, uh, he sounded like a really a really good voice actor and a really good person. So I just wanted to say um, that yeah. So why am I focusing on Berlin? It's because uh, Brad Venable and I'm sorry if I pronounce that wrong. Apparently passed away uh, last night, and I must I must admit, why am I shutting him? No. Yeah, and with my voice actors, uh, especially in Fae or in any games, I, f I feel like a lot of characters will lose their soul and... I don't know, I, I, I find this really sad and I... I wanted to share this feeling as meaningless as it was and I, I really hope uh, his family... Uh, well, I wish them as much luck get through this losing a losing someone close to you is always really hard so here's that I'm sorry I'm sorry it took a you know quite dark turn here but um, I just thought maybe I don't know my mind my mind's a bit a rumble here kill the wounded yeah you can heal the wounded, but you cannot heal the dead. <laughs> oh, this is so dark. I'm, I'm very sorry. Maybe I should I should try to find to think of something funnier or at least more lively to talk about. Maybe maybe I can talk about the next resplendent because we got our you know a sneak peek of the next resplendent uh, today because I think. Um, I think otherwise the day they would announce, uh, if they would announce the, new, the next resplendent would have been a Sunday and they usually don't do that. So uh, our next resplendent is going to be young Tiki and she's going to wear a uh, new spell attire. I think a lot of people, I don't know, Tiki seemed to be someone who could, you know, adorn a lot of, um, a lot of um, different outfits. So I guess Muspel wasn't. Oh, well, it's not Muspel. It's so stupid. It is his Ambler? Sorry, my mind is stupid. So this is an Amblin attire, and a lot of people would have, you know, thought uh, maybe, maybe a lot of people would have wished for um, Muspel or Niffle instead. I personally would have wished for the Dark Fairy outfit, but uh, it does suit her. And I think the art is by Miwabe Sakura, or maybe Marissa's and Selika's OG, OG artists. Uh, I don't remember. I know their name is Akira, but I don't remember the surname. I guess I will have to write it uh, while I edit this. So the the art is quite nice. Um, I guess Young Tiki really needed to start, but. 
I really hope we will get some, uh, maybe not Shadows of Valentia representation, but other games like Path of Radiance, uh, well, where Dawn only had uh, Sanaki before first UIL. But I hope we will get uh, more of, uh, you know, games that only have one, um, one resplendent, namely Sacred Stones. So, yeah, we're already at our last circle, so let's get to it. And, oh, chances of the five stars. So let's go. If I do not get any of them on this circle, I guess I will go with Sarah, because, you know, she's my top priority. Okay, Priscilla. Now, oh, one thing I was thinking of is, um, you know, staff units refines. We got the, the first three. Yeah, so we got Elise, um, Mist, Mist and um, Jenny. We just got Jenny. So I guess we are either going to get um, some Gen 2 staff refines or they will actually go with, uh, you know, <laughs> the Gen 1 who, who are not, who are still three and four stars. Oh my god, that's much difficult to say. Okay, so no Sarah here. Let's just try and get... Eh. Let's cr let's try to get any of them, please! <laughs> Don't let the only characters I'm going to get pity breakers. Please? And Ronan heard me. Really nice, okay. <laughs> okay, so I, I wouldn't mind. I'm pretty happy about that. Oh! Isn't that a perfect ivy for him? I think they are. My boy, I'm gonna train you. I really like his pose. Like, he, compared to, you know, the neutral pose of archers, uh, it is a bit more dynamic. Okay, and we're ending on a three star, and we're ending on a Gunther. So, I'm going to get my, my Sarah. Oh, and I have to. Sorry for that. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is basically I'm going to take my Sarah and maybe I'll try for the next circle. Come, Sarah! Something I wanted to say about Sarah is that um, her voice acting, I don't know if I'm a fan of it, because um, I think this may be a little too deep. This is uh, Mi Mirabilis's uh, voice actress. But I don't know. I may not be a fan, but she did a re Heather Ali. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Has made a really good job. It's just that I'm not that fan of it. But okay. So let's try. We are 3%? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. I did just get Ronan. So let's just try for this last uh, three, I guess. I'm going to go green, essentially. I c what I can do is this green, get back, and <laughs> and try. You know what? No, let's not do that. We got three here. I can go with the green. Uh, we this is green. This is green. With the two reds and just uh, call it a day. So let's see. Maybe we can get to Miranda. No. <laughs> oh, we are going to end on three stars, and I'm going to be stupid for that. I could have started earlier. It's not like 15 orbs would have meant anything. Okay, we are ending on a three star. That's what I thought. And a Tiki! Yay! Maybe, sh uh, you know, maybe Adult Tiki will be. Re maybe Adult Tiki's resplendent will be a fairy. I really hope so. She could have a really nice cap. Don't you envision it? Like with the cape, she could... Uh, I, I really... I would really dig um, an adult Tiki fairy costume. She could really, you know... Well, fairy or dog, really. Because her, you know, her dress could have some, vi you know, some plumeria vibes. Honestly, she could be a, a fairy, uh, a light or dark fairy. It would be a missed opportunity if they did not go with any of these. But yeah, we're ending on a Tiki. Oh, she's plus attack. Sad for her, I already have a 5 star. And plus attack. 
And this is the end of the video. Okay. So, I hope your summoning session went well. We are getting... well... We should soon get the calendar. I, I'm filming on the 8th, so... I do not know what awaits us for this month. But I'm sure we will have the occasion to see each other later. I hope your summoning sessions will go well, uh, no matter what they are. And I guess in the meantime, take good care of yourselves, everyone. Bye-bye!